the mountains of Southern Appalachia. Really cold this morning. It's down in the 20s. We've got a good fire rolling at home. Felt so good, but we all got out and left it, didn't we, Katie? Yeah, we, and we kind of left it burning. So. <laughs> <laughs> we just hope when we don't. Oh, it'll be it'll be up. all right. But we're going as a family. We're going to get a tree. Get mine and Matt's tree for this year. Our Christmas tree. And my tree. And Katie's tree. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> and, and, and little bits tree. Yes, and little bits first. Christmas tree. We mentioned you, Dad. Me. You said it. I said that. No, you didn't. I think I did. I, I don't know. Anyway. It's okay. I'll get my own. <laughs> well, you can get your own. I do want two trees this year. Okay. Why are you going to put a second one? Two know. Christmases. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> two I don't know. Christmases. A few years ago, normally we never go cut our trees. We, we're just There's just not as many places in our area where you can do that. Like if you lived up around, what is that, Matt? Northwestern, uh, North Carolina, around Boone, oh, Watuga yeah, County. Like that, They've got right. so many tree farms. We don't have that many here. Yeah. What? And Dad's Matt's running out of the road. Me. No, Dad was just running out of the road. Anyway, uh, a few years ago, though, we did find one locally up in Topton, and we went to it, but it's kind of on the... I guess they're just not opening it this year. But we had a good time that year yeah, that and shared that video. But anyway, this year we were thinking about where to get a tree. And I thought, well, we'll just, you know, get one at one of the places selling them in town. But then I thought, well, what the heck? I'll search for a tree farm near me and see what I find. Well, I found the one that we'd already been to, but it's not open. And we found another one in Mineral Bluff, Georgia. So that's where they're, we're on the way to. And hopefully we'll, we'll come home with a tree. Said this is a really pretty one. Matt said that's a little tall. This is the kind of trees that Granny and Pap had when I was a girl. Of course, they just went outside and, and cut them. But that's what that reminds me of. Matt says this one's too big. So this is a, what did he say, Corey Cypress, I think? Maybe, I don't know, but it smells citrusy. It's really pretty. I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> he walked away though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave it to Matt, which is usually what I do to pick out the perfect tree. Don't mess this up, Dad. All the pressure's on to. you. I'll try not to. I'll try not to let you down. And if I do, y'all can go home without me and I'll stay here. You can get in the pond. You can there. stay with the dogs and work at the tree farm. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be seven foot. That's gonna be eight foot. Will that fit in our house? You snip her off right there, bud. That little tree right there has been horned by a deer. That's the one I want. He's, he's already picked it out, so if it's good enough <laughs> for him, it's good enough for me. Oh, gosh. So many trees to choose from. They're all pretty. I like the little squat ones like this, but we usually get a big one for the living room. Going back to the top. What about that one up there? I think it'll be too big to get in the house. I don't know. Trim it and get it in there. What do you think about it all the way around? Because this one's kind of similar. What do you think? I mean, it's up to y'all. The ladies picks out the trees. <laughs> I just cut them and drags them. I like it. What about? Yeah, I like it. And that one right there is kindly similar. What? I look, Mama's the one that gets the final say so, not me. Are you saying yes to this tree? Are we saying yes to the tree? I'm saying yes because I'm looking for a hot well, you dog. You need to look at the upper side of it now. If it means I can go down to it. I think that would be good. We'll put more of that ball spot toward the back. Yeah, that That's could be good. That's kind of what I do with my ball spot. <laughs> that could be the back and this other thing. I think it's nice. Is it 
this is it, I think. Probably. If, if you think it'll fit. I'll make it fit. I'll bust a hole in the ceiling if it don't fit. Your daddy's going to be like Clark Griswold yeah. and his tree. <laughs> no, I hope not. You'll lay it back. I've got it. So you can cut it. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Well, maybe one more. Yep. It's a different tree than we've ever had before, but it reminds me of the ones Pap and Granny had when I was growing up, so I really love that. Murray yeah, Cypress. Like you happy, Mama? Yeah. Yeah, I got a tree. You okay. happy? Oh, yeah. Katie's happy because she's hungry. She's wanting to go <laughs> eat. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff does pretty good it takes takes on quick don't it yeah that one especially because they had just done some widening of that road so it was real fresh dirt it, it it took up quick so we finally made it home and dad is gonna get the tree down for us Beautiful. You need me to hold it? Probably. I've got tightening things on the bottom. Matt got the tree up. I think it looks beautiful. Corey said she thought it was the prettiest one we've ever had, but I think we say that every year. It is awful pretty though. And the smell, it's already making our house smell that wonderful Christmas scent. So I think now it's time to go sit by the wood stove and have a cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's mama's version of hot it's chocolate. It's of hot chocolate, hot cocoa. You don't like it? Oh, I don't like the big blood clots going up <laughs> in my face. <laughs> you don't like all the... Uh, powder clumps in. I think I didn't start it up good. Sorry. And yeah, I used half and thing. half instead of milk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of concoction did you make, Mom, and why? Because I didn't have much milk. I was trying to save it. Yeah. Fun times getting a tree. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fun times, Katie. Yeah. Katie, She's over there. Katie's working, but she had fun too. We usually, for most of the time, like I said at the beginning of the video, we just go buy a Christmas tree. And for many years, we had a fake one. Matt never liked the fake one. That's just not correct in my mind. They they do make really pretty fake ones now, though. And, and some people have allergies and all that. And it's just more, 
cost effective. That's why years ago I wanted a fake one just because it was always there and you didn't have to buy it every year. You have a fake one? Yours is real pretty. One of those we, real pretty ones. We had a fake one, but we got rid of it because we want a real one. Mm. So we got rid of it last year so we could get a real one at some point. A lot of people buy the ones with the trunk or the roots and then they plant them. Mm -hmm. It's iffy if they will live here. Most of the time, those kind of trees, what are they, spruce? Yeah, Usually like so. a spruce or something, but sometimes they do. And sometimes you'll see one, an odd one somewhere and a great old big one in somebody's yard or something. You know, that was probably a Christmas tree. If you replanted them, you could <clears throat> start your own Christmas tree farm out of trees <laughs> that you bought from a different farm. Except that if they live, they just be big. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people take their old Christmas trees and what do they do with them at the lake? Sink them in the lake for the fish. For the fish. Of course, you can chop them up, make mulch and stuff like that. We usually throw ours over the bank, let it decompose back to back to nature. We're making a squirrel structure. Yeah. Instead of fish structure. Mm -hmm. and rabbits that's, and stuff. Yeah. That's good. I hadn't thought of that. Mm-hmm. Stove feels good. It was cold, cold outside. It was, but after eating and now the stove, I'm like dozing. I need a cot down here. I've said for like four or five years, I want a cot by the stove down here. We could all just take turns. Okay, Corey had a lawn chair for a few years. You had a lawn chair. And it would lay all the way back. It was comfortable. I'd come down here with a blanket and read. Matt's, Matt's burning up. We put him on the outside and he's still hot. This side of me is baking like a potato. It, it is gets hot. hot. Well, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us as we got our Christmas tree for this year. Interesting to me or, or meaningful to me that it's different than one we've ever had and it is similar to the ones Granny and Pap had when I was little. Of course, they didn't go nowhere and cut theirs down like we did today. They went outside <coughs> along the pasture fence and got, it was more of a bush, like a little cedar bush. But that's what it reminds me of. What did he say it was? A Murray Cypress? Mm -hmm. Murray Cypress. It's pretty. It's different, different than one we've ever had. So we hope you enjoyed coming along with us today. To help us celebrate after yeah, Okay, yeah, you say it, Corey. There you go. <laughs> Uh, which is a lot I could I'll say you say that part and I'll say which is a lot of family being together yeah I'm sorry I shouldn't have missed no, you that's you funny, like that. that's funny. <laughs> what you gonna say it or is that Katie's line what is that's a wrap oh that's a wrap Mafia boss ladies here. Are these like, these remind me of like hedges. Is that what they? To, uh, some sort of juniper. Juniper? I will. Uh, Remember. I like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 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 I Remember just Remember that leaf right there? Yeah. And now I stabbed it. Corey? Could always uh, hey, pop. point on on it and walk you right back to it. All right, Dad, get more in line with them so you can be in the video. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, well, that's the one you picked. You like that one? Now your daddy's saying it's terrible. I can say it's terrible. I'll just... What's this weird? I want the unlovable tree. And that's Katie hacking up a lung in the background. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I'm trying to stay out of the way. You ready to roll this puppy off the top? <laughs> oh, your little hands are so cute. Why? Wow. They just are. Uh, How's they're little? They're cold. Yeah. yeah.